Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly make some candied covered Oreos with snowflakes perfect for a winter or frozen themed party. So stay tuned and I will show you how. Here are the things you're going to need. Some white and blue candy melts, some regular Oreos, your candy mold, and something to pipe your candy into that tiny snowflake mold. Alright guys, let's get started. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill the little snowflake design that it has in there and I cut my tip off this bag really really tiny that way I could have a, a really fine point and it have to work really quickly but carefully that way uh, my candy melts stay warm and it'll be easier to pipe out the longer I wait the faster it'll start cooling and it'll be harder to squeeze out and um, harder to keep that snowflake um, neat. So right now I'm going to stick this in the fridge for like three or four minutes. All right, so this has been in the refrigerator for around six minutes or so. The longer it's in there, the more sturdier it'll be because it'll it'll have enough time to become really firm. And what I wanted to show you right now is another way that you can use these mold in two different ways. You can just fill in the snowflake part here. It'll have little candy snowflakes that you can use to decorate uh, like cupcakes or cakes. So I wanted to show you how you can use this mold in a couple ways. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is your uh, candy melt. I'm using the blue here in your Oreo cookies. And what you're going to do is just get about a teaspoon of the candy melt and just put it inside like that. Just about maybe a teaspoon and a half. And then go ahead and insert your cookie in there and just lightly press it in to where the candy is coming up the sides. Now you can leave it like this if you like uh, and have this back part exposed, but I kind of like covering it. It's easier just to leave it like that, but I like to cover it completely. Uh, this will help kind of keep the Oreo, that Oreo part there uh, from uh, getting like soft since it's not going to be covered, it's going to be out. So um, sometimes with the air, the cookie will get soft. So I like to just cover it. I'm just going to tap it to make sure that it all comes. I'm going to lift it just so I can see the bottom part that it doesn't have any, any cookie showing. And then I'm going to do that again one more time here. Use about a teaspoon and a half or so. And then go ahead and stick your cookie in there and lightly press it to have this candy go up the sides. I'm going to look underneath again. Okay, that looks good. Just so I don't see any of the brown from the cookie showing through. So like I said, you can leave it like that. That'll be fine, but... I like to cover it just to keep the cookie a little bit fresh and crisp so it doesn't become soft. I'm going to bag these so they're going to be kind of airtight anyways, but I like how they look nice and covered. So I'm just going to tap that one more time, kind of make sure that that candy goes to the sides here. Okay, so I'm going to stick this in the fridge for about six minutes or so just to make sure that it uh, completely sets and uh, firms up and, and cools and dries and then they'll be ready to be popped out. Okay, so I took them out of the fridge. I did leave them there for like six minutes or so and then you just, these don't come out as freely as the other ones do, but you just push them out like that. You can see here they have some little air bubbles that popped in there, but just with a toothpick, 
just grab a little bit of the candy melt, either if it's the white or the blue, and then just uh, fill it in a little bit and then it should dry nicely on there. Now what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to add some of this, uh, uh, this is the shimmer dust for, by Wilton. It's not the petal dust, it's the shimmer dust. And what that is going to do, it's going to give just a little bit of sparkle on there. I don't know if the camera catches it, but I'm just going to brush it on there like that. I'll fill those gaps in there in just a second. Just want to get this video rolling. And that's what it's going to look like. You don't have to do this. Uh, this I found um, at Caljava caljava.com but you can just use a small uh, fluffy brush and then just dip it into the jar and then just brush it on there so I'm going to fill these little gaps in here and then I'm gonna put them together because that is it and then I'm gonna show you what that's gonna look like I'm gonna show you how to fix these pesky little air bubbles just grab a toothpick and then dip it into the candy melt and then just drop it in there like that Try not to put too much on it or else it'll dry with a little bit of a bulge. So we're trying to just kind of evenly set it. Right now it's a different color because it's uh, wet. But once it dries, it'll dry matte and even to the other color. So don't worry too much about that. And then this one's very close to the white. So you want to be careful not to add the blue onto that white and kind of stick it in like that to fill it in because if you just put it in on top it'll just lay on the top and you'll still have that air bubble at the bottom so it might when it dries it might pop again so make sure that you're filling in the hole and that's it so I'm gonna let that dry all right guys so this is the end product the shimmer dust gives it a nice little glittery almost metallic shimmer to it so that is all for that very very easy to put together I guess I want to quickly show you if you want to package these in case you want to put these as stocking stuffers or put them in little gifts or uh, the party bags little loot bags for your party uh, you can get some three by fours uh, little cello bags and just stick them in and then you can have your little metallic twisty ties I use some um, little silver metallic uh, pipe cleaners there um, you can find them pretty much anywhere right now because of the holidays and what I do is I just cut this in half and then cut it in half again so I'll have four uh, little twisty ties out of one pipe cleaner and so what I'm just going to do really quickly is just turn it and then I'm going to wrap it around twice and then just tie the ends very easy and I'm just going to fan this top part here so it won't look messy all right these now can be used as stocking stuffers or to put them in your uh, party loot bags or give them out for classmates for your children's school so um, this way you can handle them a lot better I did find this particular mold at Joanne's fabrics and it came in a two-pack to see there uh, it comes with this one up here with the Santa and the Christmas tree and the one I just used with the snowflake and the snowman so um, pretty nice deal these two uh, trays but if you can't find them at Joann's you can probably find them on eBay or Amazon all right guys that is all for this video I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and like up the video if you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon stay tuned for more have a good one guys